Alright guys, well, I already opened the box. I got too excited, I'm sorry. Before I do what I have to do in this little container, I need to let you know what I'm doing. Well, I've been seeing a lot of videos online about 23andMe. You can actually spit a sample of your DNA, deliver it, and get your results of what your genetics and ancestry traits are. It's pretty crazy, it's interesting. So I wanna know exactly what I'm made of. I mean, aren't you interested? Wouldn't you wanna know? Yes, I'm Mexican, born and raised here in the US, but I wanna go way back, way back into time and know exactly and pinpoint by percentage what my DNA has, which is why I got myself a 23andMe kit. So let's go step by step, shall we? Before you begin, you cannot eat, drink, brush your teeth, or chew gum, okay? 30 minutes before you spit. It's been about an hour, so I think I'm all right. It also tells you to download their app, register before you send the kit out. If you don't register, there ain't no way for them to send you the results. So I went ahead and did that. They give you a tube with a barcode. I'm not going to show you that information, but this is where I'm gonna spit in. Apparently, I mean, that's what it says. I don't know why this sounds nasty to me, but it does. Like I literally had to spit in here. Like I don't spit anywhere. I don't, I just don't do that, <laughs> okay? But I guess I gotta spit in here. And there's a line where I have to spit. Uh, they want me to spit a lot, okay. Well, they, they want you to spit in, in between those two lines. Let me go ahead and spit. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm only halfway. Give me a few more seconds. It is now filled up. I'm surprised that they needed that much, but it took a lot out of me. So as you can see in this lid right here, there's some form of liquid. When I close this, the liquid is gonna mix in with the saliva. And from there, they're gonna get the sample that they need to check my DNA. So let's go ahead and do that. It's shut. I hope you can see that. I don't know, I don't know if you can, <laughs> but it's in there. So I detach this, because there's no, no longer anything in it. Ooh, there's a bubble. There you go. And then they provide you the cap. You close the lid. Ooh, it's a strong scent in there. I don't know what it, what that was, what liquid, what type of liquid that was. But okay. It is sealed. Let me just double check that it's sealed because you don't want anything to come out of it. Okay, it's in there. And then they provide you a bag. And this is where I put in the kit. Take off the protector there. I'm guessing right there is okay. It's in the bag. Just put it in the box. And then you peel this off. Close the box and shut it. Nice and closed. And the back has the return label on it. I'm not going to show you because it has my address. So, And I'm just gonna go ahead and send it out to the mail. And then I believe it takes about seven to eight weeks to get the results. So you will see me again in seven to eight weeks. My results are in. Finally, I've been waiting for it. It's been updating me with the process and it's finally in. It's been a few weeks later. And just so you guys know, I forgot to mention this earlier in the video. The scratches that you see on my face is from Gizmo. He accidentally scratched me when he went when he was reaching out for his toy. So that's what it is. Didn't get into a fight or anything like that. So don't think crazy, y'all. But here we are. So we're gonna go over the results and you guys can see exactly what my DNA is made of. Okay, so here I am on 23andme.com. We're gonna go ahead and hit Ancestry Report to look at my results and check it out. Lots of colors, geography, maps, percentages, graphs. Okay, there's a lot to handle, but let's go ahead and get to it. I am 50% European. And what does that mean exactly? They break it down. So 49% Southern European, 46% of that is Spanish and Portuguese, which makes sense because I am Hispanic. 0.3% Italian, 2.3% broadly Southern European, 0.8% Ashkenazi Jewish. I don't know what that word is, but I will be Googling after I'm done. 
0.5% broadly European. Okay, all right, so let's move on to the next section. 40% East Asia and indigenous American. That makes a lot of sense because um, I know for sure that my ancestry is of Native American because from what I was told from family. What else? 0.8% broadly East Asian and indigenous American. 5.7% Sub-Saharan African. So I am 3.5% West African. What exactly? Well, let's see. 2.2% Senegambian and Guinean. 1% Nigerian. Okay. 0.3% broadly West African. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And obviously Africa would be in this section here. Wow, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. 2.2% of that 5%, I am Congolese and Southern East African. 2.2% Angolan and Congolese. Listen, I might be pronouncing these words wrong. This is the first time I've even read something like this, even heard about it, didn't, didn't even know these places existed. So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. And I have 1.1% West Asian and North African. Okay, so 0.7% North African, 0.2% West Asian. And that 0.2% that is Cypriot. Like I said, don't, never heard of it. 0.2% West Asian and North African. Okay. Trace ancestry. What does that mean? We detected traces of the following populations in your DNA. Read more about trace ancestry in the FAQ. Okay, I'll do that later. 0.3% Central Asian, Northern Indian, and Pakistani. People have mistaken me for Indian um, my whole life. So, I mean, that makes sense. Unassigned. What is that? 1.8% unassigned. There is a wide range of human diversity in the world and sometimes our algorithm is unable to match a region of your DNA to a specific population with confidence, okay? Individuals whose ancestors came from multiple continents and who mixed many generations ago typically see more unassigned ancestry in their ancestry composition. Individuals whose ancestry came from just one continent or individuals whose ancestry intermixed most more recently typically sees less unassigned ancestry. Okay, so that makes sense. So basically, throughout my whole ancestry, tracing back all the way from the beginning, there was a lot of what it seems like to be interracial relationships, which makes me a whole bunch of stuff. Recently, ancestry in the Americas, Mexico. Okay, so I am Mexican. Uh, my mom is Mexican, my dad is Mexican. And that is the recent ancestry, which makes a lot of sense. So that is the recent. My parents are actually from Zacatecas, Mexico, Valparaíso to be exact. Okay, so let's go ancestry and traits, DNA relatives. So anybody who has entered into 23andMe that is related to me will pop up in this section. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys this section, but um, just for the privacy of others, just because I'm okay to be on social media doesn't mean people I have never met <laughs> will be okay with it. So I'm gonna keep that part of it private. Oh, Gizmo wants to say hi real quick. So go ahead, baby, say hi to them. Go ahead. They're up there. <laughs> um, when I went to my relatives through my DNA, I did see one person on there that it's not that I forgot, it's just, it's funny to see the name because I know that I'm related, but I mean, I don't talk to them, but they are also related to my ex-wife's ex-husband, which means me and my ex-wife's ex-husband, we are related. Yeah, some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not. I never came on video to tell you this before. But if you know me personally, you already know the story. But if you wanna know more on that story, go ahead and drop a comment. I will leave a story time on the first time me and my ex-wife had a conversation and how we found out that I was related to her kid's father. 
let me know if you want to hear that story. It's just funny to see it on my on my 23andMe uh, website. So I love that they have this option out there for everyone to really see what they're made out of and their ancestry, their traits. It's just so much on there. And there's a family tree that you guys can actually look at to see who your cousins are, who your second, third cousins are, grandparents, pa uh, all that good stuff. Even siblings, some people found out they had siblings that they never knew existed on there. So if you're curious to know certain things, go ahead and go to 23andme.com and check it out. This video is not sponsored by the way. I'm just saying it because I had a good experience from it. The only problem with my family tree is that not that many people have gone on there yet from my family tree. I've only seen a couple cousins, my brother, but, and there's, there's one, there's a couple people there that I don't know. One actually lives in California, so that's pretty interesting. I feel like she might be my cousin from my dad's side of the family, because he does have a sister that lives out here. And I didn't grow up knowing her. I know of her, but she's always lived here in Cali. We lived in Illinois, so. You can always reach out to those people as well. They have an option where you can message them directly. I might. I might, you never know. But yeah guys, I totally recommend it. That's my DNA and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.